What's good? This your man, Sarah Kane. And these are my thoughts. Welcome to the eye of the hurricane. On the first my thoughts I did, I talked about what I really truly believe. I don't believe no God, no devil. I believe everything is energy. Everything is interconnected. Energy cannot be created, nor destroyed, just transferred. So how can I burn in hell if I'm a fiery light? <laughs> you know? Or energy in general. But anyway, my thoughts right now that I'm going to talk about is the thoughts of my father. Now, in memory, I've only seen my father twice in my lifetime. But I know when I was a baby, he held me. I know I was, like I know I was probably looking at him, you know, but... As I go back to my memory, I only remember seeing him twice. Because by this time, he was not with my mom no more. And it was really just bumping into him on random occasions. The first one, it was like, shit, 94, 1994. Came in the house, I was jumping on the bed. He asked me where my mama was. I was, I was like, she went back to the hood. So I like I thought I was maybe like, like eight. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, mom's left us in the house by ourselves so she can go off and go back to the projects. In my projects. To get that. That mama smoke crack rock. <laughs> get those rocks so he chilled and we talked and what's crazy is I don't remember what we talked about but I know the look on his face it was like the look of why this bitch leave these fucking kids here by these fucking selves so when she came back they talked and he left second time I seen him like 96, we was in a shelter. He picked me, my brother up and her up, and we went to rallies. She gave us some money and dropped us back off at the shelter. I remember what he asked me. He was like, you know who I am? I was like, yeah, you're my dad. He was like, all right, cool, cool. And said some. I don't remember the conversation. But I know it was cool. And shared a laugh and that was it. Last time I seen him. And I made this to let my father know that I understand why you left. I understand. See, most people will wonder, why did dad leave? Why did mom leave? What's the real fucking reason? And I never wanted to ask about it. But uh, but hearing it through the grapevine, he was just tired of her. I found out who my father was by talking to members of my family. And he was a great man. My father was a motherfucking enforcer for my family business. He dated my mom for a minute and shit. But he was an enforcer. But when he was done being an enforcer, he'd go to work at the hospital. So, I understand why, you know, he, like he didn't want to stay because obviously he was trying to 
get my mom to be like, yo, you can't keep partying, you can't keep spending up all the money because we gotta pay bills, bitch. Dad, I understand that my mom is nosy, sneaky, lying, manipulative, controlling, prideful, stubborn, stupid, makes bad decisions. But most importantly, that crack shit is a fucking no-no. Don't no real man want to be with a crackhead. So, Dad, I understand. Real shit. So, these are my thoughts. Part two. Because real talk, I feel like I needed to get it off my chest. Because that'll be what I tell them when I see them. I understand. You had to go live a better life. You know? I know the family business. Now, a lot of shit happened in the family business. That's another fucking story. Because <laughs> that could be why my father left. But through the grapevine, he was tired. And plus, if everybody in the hood know that my mom is on that Tyrone Bigham shit, then it's a wrap. <laughs> Once one person in the hood know, everybody in the hood gonna know. But the crazy thing about it is, everybody in the hood had a vice, but they made sure they took care of their fucking kids. My mom fucking neglected the fuck out of us. Leaving months at a time, then find out that she ain't dead. She's in a fucking rehab somewhere. And she did this like three or four times in my lifetime. Place to place, house to house, shelter to shelter, stand with people to stand with people, a bando to a bando. <laughs> that was the life of Hurricane. So, Dad, I understand. It's your man's Hurricane. I'm out. Peace.